What's up all you beautiful people? So in this attempt to condense and consolidate a lot of the information I put out, all the 500 videos that I kind of pulled off and um, recalibrated for people, I got to thinking about all of the all of the time that I've spent researching, all of the people that I've uh, th that I've watched. I remember watching Marco Rodin. If you're familiar with Rodin mathematics and the Rodin coil and vortex mathematics, and and you get into um, all sorts of different schools and ideas of, of how math works and, and how to think about numbers and how to you know, put them together to get to get the same solution as someone else. And then I remember watching Ian Lungold and uh, his presentations on Mayan magics and the Mayan calendar and how that all works. And I, I, I had so many, so many people I, have I followed and watched their, their work and and I said, well, how, how do we apply this? How, how is this going to get applied? How does this make sense to the average person? Because, yeah, great minds and giant minds, they, they, it's, it's simple. It's like, ah, we see the whole thing. It's like having that bird's eye view that, I don't know, looking from a different space or looking from a different time and seeing, seeing it from overhead like, a, like an architect would. And then saying, but how does this apply? How does this, how can I make this um, palpable? How can, I, how can I make this absorbable and digestible for the everyday person? And I remember thinking about their, their work and saying, well, yeah, I can sit here and I can understand this. And I have, I have plenty of time and, and energy and, and this interests me because I can see its value, but to the average person, like what value does it have? How does this, what does this mean to their life? You know, people always say, like, what, what does it do for me? What can, how can this possibly affect my life, my, my families, my uh, community, whatever? Most people, it's just, you know, how can it affect their life? Because, yeah, you know, let's, let's be honest, everybody, you have to think about yourself first. You have to. If you don't, if you're not healthy, you can't help anybody else be healthy. If you can't understand, you can't help anybody else understand. So in, in all of that, I, I got to the place of putting all this information out there just the way that everybody else has. And it's like, you know, encyclopedias and, and textbooks and, and information, just it's all there. And then like going, okay, let's condense this because who has time to listen to 500 of my videos? Not too many people. I mean, a lot of it, yeah, sure, it's redundant and, and I can make it simpler. And then I get into, and I, and I used to get into this split. Well, if it, it's been said very simple and easy before by a lot of people. A lot of people have made very simple statements and just, okay, well, this is like this. But then people go, no, 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 but I've been told. And if I go through all of these hoops and I jump through this mathematical equation and, uh, and I look at this theory and I, I, I look at this and, and I go, well, it, I don't know. I don't think that's true. So then, then you have to explain things to a really... Uh, you have to you have to go along a very long path and journey like through a through a story to explain something to someone and so i'm here in the middle of that taking all of that and taking the the advanced mind and simplifying it and taking the simple mind and advancing it it's like uh, i i i told people before i uh, once um uh, i started playing uh started playing chess and i I was looking at the board and I was like, there's something, something different here. I don't, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like I should be looking at this, you know, one move at a time. I shouldn't be thinking about like, okay, if I move this here, then I can have, to, okay, then these three, and then, okay, then, then it becomes mathematically really hard to do. And I said, well, there's got to be something else here. So I read this book. It's called The Amateur's Mind. I just explained how most people look at things. They look at th things through a digital processing linear system that says, if I play chess, I'm moving this to this, and it's going to give me these things later. I'm going to see what's, what's on the other side going this way. And, how, and they go through a linear process. But to somebody that sees, sees it as, a, as an artistic construct, they look at the board quite differently. They look at the, the whole picture differently. And so my attempt here in all of the information that I'm trying to put together for people is to show them how to not have an amateurish mind not not to be sophomoric, not to 
not to think the way the school system uh, taught them to think, to, to educate them in, in a way to say, hey, there's a, let's, let's look at this not in a linear fashion, but in the, look at a seed and the way that it grows. Look at a, you see, that's how, that's expression of the learning. So how does a seed learn? A seed learns through sun coming in, rain coming in, um, a, a bunch of different, from, from every angle, there's every angle of information and energy that is, that is um, making, giving information to a seed. And then the seed expresses itself forth in all directions. And if someone considers their mind in the same way, because it is the same thing, your mind looks like a seed. You're, you know, that's, that's what it is. And, but yet we use the mind in a way to say, no, there's, there's a linear process. Well, your mind doesn't look like a linear thing. Your mind isn't straight. No one's mind is. You think of going somewhere. How do you get uh, the quickest way to from A to B is a straight line? Well, not really, because we're, first of all, we're, we live in three dimensions, and there might be something in the way that you might have to go over or around or underneath. Or, I mean, there's never, it's, it's never a straight line. That's the, you look in nature, you don't see straight lines. So getting people to the place of saying, hey, your mind works just like everyone else. You've just been instructed to use it the wrong way is where I'm trying to start all of this. So that way, whenever I go into explaining something like people wanted me to re-release some videos on salt and explaining the concept of what salt is and, and why it shouldn't be consumed by the human and then I get into the mathematics of the salt and why it's called a cube and using the idea of incubation and then use language. And it, it, it can get very confusing for people that aren't studied into etymology or even understand the basics of language or the basics of what each letter is. So through this, I, I think what the videos will I'll do here in the near future will be... Um, a simple re-expression of what the numbers are and what the letters are. And, and that will give people an easy baseline to just open up their mind to think about words differently because we use words to communicate. Yet, the communication happens in pictures and images in the mind. And I, I've done videos on that in the past and it just, it, it needs to be understood very clearly that even if you can't visualize something, even if you can't put a picture in your mind you do have some sort of reference point of a memory for something and that memory e even though you can't like picture it right there in their mind you you can re you can recall it you can remember it you you have an you have a a feeling and an understanding and while it may not be specifically bright and visual for everyone i mean that's the place that we'll try to get people to because that's that's kind of where, <laughs> that's how the mind really should work. That's how the mind used to work. Um, on the process there, we can just, hey, just do you remember? And, that, and there's a remembrance of um, images. It's a remembrance of images. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. And, and from there, that image is what my words do. This is, if there's an art to storytelling, it's to communicate through numbers and letters, which are abstractions, and to give people a visualization and a feeling towards how do I really think, how do I really feel, and what these teachings, what, how does this apply to my life? Because everybody gets back. How, what, what are your, what you're saying is that I know this is all fun and good. That's all fun to listen to you. Great, great job. Good story. But how do you apply this to your life? How, how is it going to fix? How is it going to help? How is it going to assist you in anything? Well, if we look at it from an energetic standpoint, I can show people how to use less energy. How to, how to create more energy out of self, how to not, how to invest energy. And, and this can be, you can, you can take this in any way what you want. You can take these practices and apply them to the physical world. You can apply these to the, the economic world if you see fit. But it's about when you first understand how the body functions, then everything pours out from that. So if you understand, uh, and this is why I've, I've recently been doing a lot more focused work on blood and blood types and and things like this is because that is that is the that is where your energy comes from your energy is in your blood and it's the processing you know it's, it's the implosive place of taking whatever information you put into your mouth and the rest of your system 
and it goes through your blood and that's that's where you get your energy so if we if we start there with language and visualization and understanding how blood works and we say hey the easiest way to get a river to work would be the same way you'd get your blood to work with the same way you get the you know any other system to work is to streamline it to clean it up so if you clean your body see so now we'll take this right into like the water and why distilled water is so very important and people have to stop thinking we need to we need to put salt in there we need to put this in there no it's not that's not that's not not yet not yet somebody's like talking to me about like oh you i thought salt was no good well no it, it's not good for 99.99999% of the population because they're over salted they have too much too much whatever in their system inorganic salts they have too too many dead inorganic things laying around their body just it's in the way of everything it's in the way of moving so if we look at say inside of your body is feng shui or feng shui and you look at your house you can you have a very similar construct can you move around your house freely and easily is everything in a good place in your house is it easy for you to access everything in your kitchen does it make sense where the knife is and where the spices are and how those are organized now, in the same way, your mind needs that same organization. And in the same way, your body, the blood system in your body needs the same organization. You should have a certain set of substances in your kidneys. And those kidneys are, are what's going to actually make, um, for men, this is where you're getting all of the energy to make semen for procreation. And if, and if we look at procreation, that's the essential source of all energy in, in life is to procreate. So your kidneys should be in order. And for your kidneys to be in order, there's going to be a very good connection, a very obvious connection between your kidneys functioning, your blood functioning, and the, your outside environment and, and how you see, um, I mean, whether it's finances for you or just movement patterns or, or relationships or whatever, those are all going to be functioning off of how well your blood moves through your system. So this is why I think I'll do a we'll go through the language and we'll go through the blood thing and why water is so important because your plasma your your blood plasma is should be basically water and it, you shouldn't be having inorganics in there so this all is to kind of just get people closer to understanding how how your mind works how the larger mind works how my mind works i mean if if it's all connected then my mind is no different than yours and if I speak it forth, it should be, it should make sense to you. It should, this should be obvious. Just because you, you can't accept it like right now, you can't go, mm, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of science out there that's, I don't know, I, I believe in science and I gotta, mm, I don't know. Like that, that's fine, but it still doesn't take away from, well, there's an, ab, there's an absolute, there, there's no, <laughs> truth is truth. Like you can't, you can't just because you say we're, uh, that's, that's not grass right there. It doesn't make it not grass. Oh, well, it's a different language and it's a different thing. Well, we know what we mean. We know what, we, we know what we're getting at. We know the feeling of grass. We know its, its purposes. We know how it grows. We know, maybe not how it grows, but we know what it is, right? We know what a tree, we can look at that tree and say, oh, there's, a, there's an orange coming off that tree. Oh, that, that's, that's a truth. That's a, that's a truth that you can't do anything about. You can't just all of a sudden be like, no, that's a, that's a watermelon tree. No, that's actually growing chipmunks. You can't, it's, it doesn't really work that way, right? I mean, not in this dimension at least, not in this place, not here. Maybe from, from the places and planets and star systems that we're from, we could alter things and, and we can alter things there and as time travelers and move things back in this place that we would call Earth. But, you know, that gets into like, oh, okay, we'll slow down. Let's just get back to the water and the blood. So let's clean the blood up and maybe from there, then you're your thoughts will be more powerful because you'll be able to actually uh, understand how they work, understand what they are. You'll be able to image things better in your mind. So hopefully this was a fun little journey for everyone and we'll talk very soon. And as always, uh, do cool things, have fun, inspire the world. And if you can't do that, at least inspire yourself. <laughs>